Hey, how's it going? It's Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today we're going to talk about some different ways to store documents on a patient's profile. Step 1. One of Practice Perfect's best loved features is its ability to house all manners of clinical documents under one roof. These documents can be found in a patient's Activities by Documents screen. As you know, this screen offers a comprehensive overview of all the documents attached to this patient's profile. You'll always be able to tell what kind of document it is by this icon here. Microsoft Word documents look like this. Practice Perfect custom documents look like this. Image documents look like this. And PDF documents look like this. Step 2. The first document that we're going to store on this patient's client record is a document that's already saved on your computer, such as a Word, PDF, or JPEG file. To begin, select New Document and then Import Document. The following panel will appear. Begin by confirming the document date. It will always default to today's date. Then choose the document type. It might be an authorization, an evaluation, or another type of clinical document. Your list of available document types can be found by selecting Housekeeping, Clinical, and then Document Types, and can be altered in any way you wish. Then select the provider who it is relevant to. You can type out a description of the document here. The description will also appear in the list and help you identify the document. Then select the small folder icon in the original file location field. A window similar to this should appear. Simply locate the file on your computer and select open. Upon doing so, the document will be stored on the patient's profile. Step 3. If you need to review one of your imported documents after the fact, reproduce a physical copy, or edit it, simply double click the document in question or highlight it and select the edit icon and select view slash edit document. Alternatively, you can click this small folder icon here to view the original file, so long as it remains in the original file location. But please note, if you're editing a Microsoft Word document, you will have to select save, close it, and then click re-import in Practice Perfect to store it on the patient's client record. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out practiceperfectemr.com for more of our accelerated learning videos.